how to spot common houseplant pests and safely kill them. Bugs happen. This does not mean you haven't been taking very good care of your houseplants. Being prepped for anything is a part of the fun when it comes to planting care. A few bugs won't do much harm, but if left untreated, they can multiply and turn your favourite potted plant into an ugly mess or even kill it. But don't panic. Most common houseplant pests can be controlled with a few simple techniques and a little patience. If you decide to treat, isolating it to keep the problem from spreading to your other plants. Here's how to get rid of the most common houseplant pests you may find. There are several types of houseplant bugs that can infest indoor plants. Some of the most common ones include Mealybugs and mealybugs are similar to scales. Their sapsuckers have a waxy coating and make do. Signs of a scale or mealybug infestation can include the presence of waxy deposits on the plant, of black sooty mould that grows on the honeydew produced by these insects, and that depending on how heavy the infestation, or sometimes yellowing and dying leaves and distorted or stunted plant growth. Female mealybugs produce a white, a cottony material where they lay eggs that hatch into crawlers. How to control mealybugs, use a cotton swab dipped in rubbing alcohol to remove the mealybugs. For larger sturdy plants, wash leaves off with a strong spray of water to dislodge the pests. Insecticidal soap and neem oil may be the best option for heavy infestations. Scales are soft-bodied insects that suck plants up. Tiny crawlers the immature stage move a little as they feed. Adults cover themselves in a waxy, protective coating and stay put, so you might not even recognise the small white or brown bumps as bugs. Scales are most likely to be found on the underside of leaves and on stems, although they occasionally appear on the upper leaf surface as well. While they can feed on lots of different houseplants, scales are particularly fond of citrus trees, ivy and figs. Scale infested leaves may turn yellow or drop off and stems die back. The bugs also produce a sticky substance called honeydew that they leave on your plant. Besides making a mess, the sweet residue can attract ants, plus a black fungus called sooty mould often develops on it. Not a good look.
how to control spider mites. Mite infestations are tough to control. If your plant is heavily infested, it's best to get rid of it before the pests spread. For spider mites and scales. And catching the problem early and inspecting plants regularly makes a big difference, says Kelly Hamby, an entomology professor at the University of Maryland. You can use some of the easier approaches of removing infested leaves, washing them off with soapy water and crushing them. Increasing humidity around plants may also help limit spider mite buildup. White flies. These tiny winged insects have a delicate, powdery white appearance. The immature stage doesn't move much, but the adults flutter about when disturbed. Both stages suck plant sap, but it's the immature stage that causes the most damage, feeding from the underside of leaves. Immature white flies look a bit like scale insects, says infested leaves turn yellow and die and the plant is often stunted. Keep a sharp eye out for them especially on ivies, hibiscus and poinsettias. How to control white flies. An insecticidal soap or neem oil will get rid of white flies. Be sure to apply to the underside of the leaves where the white fly immature stages will be Treatment will probably need to be done weekly until you no longer see any immature or adult white flies. Aphids, another sap sucking pest, also produce sticky honeydew. They can attack lots of different plants and are particularly fond of tender, new growth where they cause distortion and wilting. Their life cycle is short, usually two to three weeks long, so populations can increase rapidly. How to control aphids. A hard spray of water will dislodge most aphids. Either take your plant outside to hose it down if it's not too cold or use your shower sprayer. Insecticidal soap or neem oil sprays are also effective. Quisniets. Although tiny fungus nut adults are more of a nuisance than a pest, the immature stage rave feeds on plant roots and can cause growth problems, especially on young plants. Fungus nuts are often a symptom of overwatering, Hamby says. How to control fungus nuts. Allow the surface of the soil in pots to dry between watering. Do not let water stand in sources. Drenching soil with the biological insecticide Bacillus. Thuringiensis fear. Israelensis will control the larvae. Yellow sticky traps will help capture adults. The rips can cause your plant's leaves to turn pale, splotchy, and silvery. Then wither away. You can start seeing a thrip infestation early by checking if the leaves are unnaturally twisted, curled or discoloured. Oftentimes, you will find them still living in the discarded leaves. The thrip infestations can happen quickly, so isolating your infected plants is important once the infestation is noticed. How to control thrips, like mealybugs. You will want to spray the infected plant with a focused nozzle to get any loose thrips off. Then you will want to treat with insecticidal soap, neem oil and TAFE granular insecticide. For very effective, natural results. Purchasing lacewing larvae, a beneficial bug, will eradicate any thrips problem. What are natural ways to get rid of pests on potted plants? 
the best natural products to use to rid potted plants of Pesta 3 homemade sprays. Mix one of these recipes in a labelled spray bottle, one tablespoon of baby shampoo and one gallon of water, one cup cooking oil, two tablespoons dish soap and one quart water, or two teaspoons cinnamon and four cups, warm water steeped overnight. Other options include neem oil, rubbing alcohol and sticky fly paper. What is the fastest way to get rid of pests on indoor plants? The fastest way to rid plants of pests if there are just a few bugs is to wipe them off leaves with your fingers or a cloth soaked with rubbing alcohol. However, if the infestation is more extensive, remove the leaves with the most bugs and spray insecticidal soap on the rest of the plant. 